Rich, Resident Evil 4 Remake, which is like the 13th version of Resident Evil 4, uh, is out next Friday, the 24th. Yeah. Uh, and we've all kind of been doing stuff with it this week. Uh-huh. One of my jobs, Rich, was a comparison video while you were reviewing it. Yes. And, and I'm curious it. to see how it compares because um, I played on Mate. Xbox Series X and it was lovely. Yeah, and this is a very interesting comparison for many reasons. Mm -hmm. The first reason, the PS4 version, right? Look at that. 40 FPS. That's not bad. Uh, PS4 Pro in resolution mode, above 30. And the PS4 Pro in frame rate mode, solid 60. However, Rich, the PS4 has some weird quirks. Uh, And one of the quirks is, we're going to run through it now, is basically... It runs at like 40, 50, but some of the enemies move at like 30 FPS, which is, I I assume, one of the concessions they had to make to get it working. But you can see, this is it slowed down, that that enemy on the left is, it's the enemy's at 30 FPS. It's a weird one. It doesn't happen all the time, just every so often. This is Capcom's solution to get it running on the base PS4 then. Yeah, and it's clear because it wouldn't run the Xbox One. No. So... On the Series S, look at the resolution. The resolution, all the resolutions in this video have ray tracing on, all mm-hmm. the frame rates have ray tracing off. So pretty much for the most part, it's kind of solid 60. It does dip here and there yeah. on the Series S. Um, but then on the PS5, solid 60 frame rate, right? nice. M- uh, frame rate mode. Then resolution uh, mode's getting there. Yeah, it's pretty good. And this as everyone will probably know, is the mental part of the game, where there's just enemies coming out from wherever. And it actually hits 60, the resolution mode, with ray tracing on. Um, Sorry, that's me knocking my water Mm -hmm. bottle over. Um, Just ignore that, folks. Um, But yeah, so usually like 50. The Xbox Series X version is like five frames worse, I want to say. But still, you'd expect resolution mode to be running at 30 FPS. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but frame rate mode, solid sixty. So just, I found that really interesting. Mm. Um, just because, like, usually it's like the frame rate m- frame rate mode doesn't hit sixty, and resolution is solid thirty. Like, yeah, a little bit like that's surprising. Elden. Yeah, yeah, and as you can see, Rich, the PS4 isn't terrible. Uh, mm. It's not fantastic, obviously, because it's the PS4 and it's like ten years old or something like that. Um, yeah, but uh, the PS4 Pro version looks great. And the Series S version looks pretty great, great too. But obviously, yeah, it's not bad, is it? it? Yeah, the Series X and the PS Five. I don't see why you wouldn't play this on resolution mode with ray tracing. Well, yeah, I mean, um, I wouldn't have even thought to do that to be honest. Because, like you, I would have thought thirty, not six, not anywhere approaching sixty frames for resolution. Yeah, but yeah, it looks great. So, um, but yeah, Rich, it does look bloody great. Mm. Um, and when you compare the two side by side, it's actually like, sorry, the PS5's first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like the resolution does look slightly sharper. It's There's not much in it, but also there's not much in the frame rates either. So it's a weird mm. one. Um, but look, uh, I actually couldn't tell the two apart. Nah, virtually um, no difference whatsoever. And both the uh, different platforms. Um yeah, mm. and, and I was, like, staring at it for ages, Rich. Um, <laughs> as you can see, like, I always find Shrub Rich yeah. um, as a good, a great way to test uh, resolution and fidelity. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, like, you can tell that the resolution mode on the PS4 Pro is much better yeah. than the frame rate. Um, yeah. Whereas the Series S, slightly sharper in resolution mode. Mm. Yeah, I yeah, mean, I agree. It's it's tiny margins we're talking here, mm. but uh, it, this is the weird one because usually we're like, oh, go with the frame rate mode because of the frame rate, yeah, even though the resolution mode yeah. is sharper. <laughs> mm. But like you can see the difference there between the resolution and the frame rate if you're watching this in 4K. Yeah, it's it's minute, it's small differences, mm. but there is a difference. Right. Um, but like honestly, you could play it in either mode. And get pretty much the same experience. I Just that say. RE engine is fantastic. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's, good, it's isn't it? so amazing. I've I've not seen a crappy looking RE engine game. I don't think it exists. Um, no, but right we in don't if get you uh, many, do know we? of one. No, I don't think so. I can't think of any. Is um, Exo Primal that game that we did a video yes, on? Yes, it that, is. Um, 
That's our e engine as well. Mm. Yeah, look pretty good. Yeah. Uh, we've got the swipes out, Rich, so you can see um, the PS4 looks a little bit. I don't know I what's the word. Surprisingly decent. Pixelated. Pro yeah. looks great. This is all resolution mode. Mm -hmm. uh, Series X looks fantastic. Yeah. Um, and the PS5 also looks fantastic. Mm. If anything, actually, the Xbox Series X might look a little bit sharper there. Yeah, it looks Just good. Just looking at the trees above to the left of Leon's head. Yeah, good shit. But like, oh, this yeah. is this is the park. Like the fact that this isn't on Xbox One just shows you the fact that they couldn't get it working. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, yeah, that console chugs now, doesn't it? With the yeah newer games. I tell you what, though, uh, the PS4 and the PS4 Pro, they sound like they're going to explode. Do they really? Uh, with the fans going absolutely mental. <laughs> so clearly, this is pushing the machines mm. uh, as far as they can go. Um, Do you think it's time uh, we left old gen behind, Dan? Yeah, it's a weird one. Uh, mm. but we must be getting close yeah. with Capcom making the decision here to leave the Xbox One behind. Yeah, I mean, it's not the first they've, time. No, and clearly they've made a game based purely on let's make the best game we can and we'll see what it works on. Mm -hmm. And they clearly it didn't work on the Xbox One, yeah. so they sacked it off. But Street weirdly, Fighter 6, it would have worked. Same. Yeah. Sorry? Street Fighter 6 is the same. Yeah, and, and clearly this game would have looked fantastic on the One X. Yeah. Because it's a slightly more powerful machine than the Pro, but they left that. So I think oh, yeah. it's only a matter of time until they leave the actual PS4 and PS4 Pro behind. I think Xbox great, have a policy that their games have to work on every model of console, right? So if it doesn't work on the base Xbox One, forget yeah. it. Yeah, but, but Sony will be the same. Yeah, true. But yeah. like, but the fact this works on the PS4 mm -hmm. means that they can put it out on the PS4 and the PS4 Pro. And yeah. obviously because of the install base, that makes more sense for Capcom as well, yeah. more sense for Sony. Whereas mm. like the Xbox One install base was nowhere near the, the PS4 install base. So you can almost save yourself some hassle, leave that one behind. Yeah. But I do love the lighting in this game, Rich. Oh, it's, it's uh, cracking. It's it's really great. Like um, across the board, like it's very atmospheric. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, and and even like with the ray tracing, because you can turn the ray tracing on and off, and mm -hmm. like it's one of those games where they put so much effort into the volumetric lighting. So yeah. pre ray tracing, what they would normally do, that there isn't a massive difference when you actually put the ray tracing on. Sure, when you're looking at reflections and stuff like that, then you, you'll kind of see the differences. But purely from like a lighting perspective, it looks slightly more natural. Yeah. But obviously, they spend a lot of time on both lighting models. So, but yeah. Rich, I just, this is the first shot straight out the gate of the game. Yeah. Uh, and I was a little bit worried when I saw it on the PS4 but then actually when it gets running it's okay mm -hmm. but the Pro great little version yeah and obviously Series X got a bit fantastic. more of the mist there haven't you yeah and mm. I'm not sure whether that's a whether it, there's some kind of cycle to it because like I boot these things up and I capture straight away so theoretically yeah. it should be the same yeah like, it should this isn't like a day night cycle no it right? isn't no. It's, it's all very like, scripted <laughs> yeah um here we've got some bushes, Rich. Uh, as you can see, like the Pro on the resolution mode actually looks pretty great. Mm. Uh, if you've got a Pro and you're playing this and, on resolution mode, yeah, uh, you get you get your, your solid thirty, maybe a few frames more. Uh, it looks fantastic as well. Mm. Um, but yeah, like across the board, they haven't done a bad job. No, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, good a, it's stuff. a pretty good engine, as we were saying. Yeah, like uh, even the Series S. Which obviously is a an inferior console to the the X and the PS5. Even that looks all right, Rich. Yeah. But, and I feel like in a game like this, though, that visual fidelity is important. Yeah. But because the lighting's it's pretty dingy lighting for the most part. Like, mm. I feel like you don't notice it as much. Yes. Yeah. It's not like somebody's shining a spotlight on all these things. So yeah, like everything's quite dark. Everything's quite dingy. Mm. Everything's quite dimly lit. So, yeah, it's but, a bit of a shame we couldn't capture some more interiors. You know. Oh yeah. Um, speaking of capture, 
Uh, Capcom set these weird rules where we can only capture up to like a point in chapter one, mm. and up to and one thing in chapter seven. Weirdest capture rules ever. I for, like, think a pre-release. Um, I think they're super um, worried about spoilers, and uh, basically, it's really what you'll have played in the chainsaw demo. Uh, is what we're showing here, pretty exactly much. right. But this is yeah. this is with patches and yeah. This, this is, is the full the, game. This isn't the demo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the demo is easy to take a vertical slice. But Rich, the game doesn't look any worse or perform any worse after you get past chapter one. So mm-hmm. it clearly is just uh, a spoiler issue. Yeah, but yeah. I find that odd on a game that everybody knows how it ends. Well, there are some. So. There are some changes, quite a few changes, in fact. Um, but like, obviously, not I'm not going to gonna tell you what they are. But yeah, and also most of them are covered by the embargo that you can't talk about, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But like, f- from my perspective, those things are cool for like people visiting the game. But mm-hmm. like, do they actually change the story? They, I, I imagine they don't. I mean, fundamentally, They'll just add to it, right? Yeah, yeah. I'd say so. I don't want to be drawn into <laughs> yeah. saying yeah. what, just and, in case. Oh, shit, you spoil it. But, like, no. Rich, speaking of interiors, we've got this lovely interior shot. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, it? And just the text on the door is a good indicator of the kind of yeah. um, the resolution um, mode in kind of true power. Mm. Uh, the PS4, you can barely read it, and obviously as you go to the PS5, and the Series X... Which maybe does look a little bit sharper, Rich. Yeah, it's very nice. I'm just, I'm just looking at the walls, mm. and like the textures, maybe look a little bit, a little bit more detailed. Yeah. There you go, Rich. Another interior shot, and yeah, you, you haven't even scrubbed through to see what kind of shots we had. So um, this yeah. is what I mean about the lighting, <laughs> though, right? Like, yeah, yeah. These, these are different modes. So clearly, they put a lot of work into the ray tracing and the volumetric. So they're I don't want to say that they're, you can't really tell the difference at all, but, I mean, it's negligible in most situations. Mm. Like, reflections in the water when you're outside and any water in the game, yes. Then you'll yeah. s- see a massive difference. But in terms of actual light in Rich, yeah, I mean, not a lot. Not no. a lot at all. Well, like, you, yeah, you, you've completed it multiple times now. Like, yeah. You, you played it on frame rate, which is... The standard one, right? Yeah, I played it on the default setting, which was performance or frame rate. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I didn't really sort of notice think, any issues. Or, yeah, no, I didn't notice any issues at all. Technically, I, maybe I did a actually a tiny bit of texture pop in. I was just very about minor. to say that. Like, it's actually that as you go down the, the consoles, mm. PS4 does have quite a lot, and it can take quite a long time to load in the textures. Really, Ugh. like especially when like. When you go through, because if you've everyone that's played the the demo at home, you go through the gate uh, mm-hmm. into the village. Yeah. Like the rocks on the left, like literally, like must have, I, I waited to see how long it took, and that's ten seconds on the PS4. It took a little bit, like a little bit less time on the PS uh, on the PS4 Pro, um, and then there was a, the same with the Series S. It had in some texture popping, well, and then the odd yeah. occasion I did notice on the PS5 and the Series X. So seems well, to be an issue across yeah. the board. I was on Series X, I was going to say, and there was some very, very minor texture popping. There was one yeah. instance where I was examining like a, a, a rock or something, a carving, and that took a while to pop in. Like We're talking a few seconds where I was just like stood there going, okay, so what does yeah. this say? Yeah. It's a bit weird. Hopefully patches will... Um, rectify that yeah but i i, I want to say that the re engine d- has had issues with texture popping before because mm. mm-hmm. we've done a few re engine ones right yeah yeah i mean like, it's been uh, a while since village seven? was probably the last one we did village sorry that was yeah, it yeah not yeah. seven but yeah rich that's um oh actually we got one more shot and then we can wrap up Ooh, uh, and then bits. this is just like this is so Pro, no ray tracing. Next mm-hmm. gen has ray tracing. So yep. if you look at the puddle, you'll actually see like more reflections and stuff oh, yeah. in the puddle compared to... Well, you won't see it now because it's just going back to the PS5. Mm-hmm. But that's what I mean. So all the next gen versions have ray tracing that you can turn on and off. Uh, and the last gen do not. But the PS4 Pro has multiple modes, as you've seen for the, the last 
14 minutes and 59 seconds, Rich. But Oof. yeah, that, Rich, is Resident Evil 4 Remake. Mm. It's out a week today, mm-hmm. 24th, 24th of March. Yep. Um, and th- I'd like to say that it's actually a pretty good version across the board, which is um, yeah. surprising. And a cracking except game. For that, <clears throat> yes, and that. But except for that weird PS4 frame rate on enemies mm. thing, which yeah. is just, I, I imagine without it, they probably wouldn't get it on the console. But, yeah, um, but I think you can live they, with that. <laughs> yes, for sure. Thanks for watching, folks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Cheers, folks. Goodbye. Bye.